because I feel like by the time this goes up, I may have hit 100,000 subscribers. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Shakayla. I create and share delicious plant-based recipes and inspiration. If you're returning, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. As you can tell by the title of this video, I'm recording a what I eat in a day. I'm gonna do a what I eat in a week soon, but I have been on this meal prep, meal prep journey, I guess, I don't know. And this is the week of Thanksgiving. Yesterday was actually Thanksgiving, so I, only meal, meal preps for three days this week. Yesterday we had Thanksgiving food, you know, just like the traditional comfort food. And then today is kind of just like a free for all. But I cooked quite a bit of things from my digital cookbook. Okay. So if you have not checked that out, please do so. I have it linked in the description box. But also thank you so much to those of you who have purchased. Um, but right now I am sipping this matcha y'all that matcha so it's like a strawberry matcha oh my gosh it is so delicious i added ashwagandha to it which is just like a little stress relief it's an adaptogen which is good for the body it's a stress relief you don't need it but i just like to take it and then i also added a vitamin what was it vitamin d3 plus k2 i have started incorporating the multi i mean I started incorporating vitamin D3 into my supplement routine. So I do turmeric sometimes, prebiotic all the time, vitamin D3, K2 all the time, um, and omega is a plant-based vegan omega supplement, omega-3 supplement, I take that. And then my vitamin B complex, I take that. I was taking a multivitamin, but when I realized that I was getting a lot of vitamins through my food. There are some vitamins that I wasn't, that I'm not getting on a daily basis consistently, but I was getting a lot of vitamins through my food. So I didn't feel like I needed to take, in this current season, I need to take a, especially because I've been trying to eat more whole foods. I didn't feel like I needed to take a multivitamin. So I've just been doing like one-offs that I know that my body needs based off blood work that I've had done or even just that I know I'm not getting through my food. So yeah, so that's why I take those. If you do do vitamin D3, you have to take it with K2 because I hear that it can mess up your arteries. So make sure you look into it before you do anything that I'm saying that I'm doing. But yeah, anyway, okay, let's figure out what we're about to do for breakfast. I'm so excited to be recording. I'm excited that you're here watching this video. And yeah, let's get into it. So I'm going to have my breakfast with some kombucha. This is the one that I'm going to be using. I've been trying to either do a fermented food a day or kombucha, which kombucha is a fermented drink. I don't have any 
like kimchi or sauerkraut left because I ate all of it last week. But I do have kombucha, so I'm about to drink this. I just do like half of a, yeah, like half of a glass, I mean half of a bottle. You can have the whole bottle. Only thing is these do have a good amount of sugar, so I try to be careful there to like not consume too much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's really good. Probably about to go hang out with my husband for a little bit. Then get a workout in. And yeah, I'll see y'all at lunch. All right, so I look like <laughs> I look like a struggle bus, okay? But I just finished doing some strength. I'm about to sit y'all down. Hold on, let's see. Hopefully, I should have put my frame on where it kind of like helps you see me better. It's like a wide lens frame. Hopefully, that's okay. But I just finished doing my workout. It was really good. I did some strength training because um, I've been trying to get into a little strength training. I'm like super hungry. So now I'm about to make a salad. I've really, if you've watched my videos before, y'all know like I really enjoy Mediterranean inspired food. So I'm about to make a Mediterranean inspired, maybe chickpea, well, a Mediterranean inspired orzo salad situation. So that's what I'm having for lunch. Give it some time to digest and then we are going to go do tennis. Okay, so I found this at, I think it was Kroger is where I got it from, chickpea orzo. I've never had it before. The shape is kind of different. It's not like traditional orzo, but I got it because I wanted something like a orzo, but also something that had a good amount of protein. So one serving of this has 12 grams of protein. So hey, but I am gonna cook up this entire box so that I can have it as like meal prep for the weekend and going into the week. Y'all, I almost forgot about the olives. How disappointing would that have been? This is how the chickpea orzo looks when it's finished. I did have high hopes for it, honestly, but it's not bad. Like I would probably buy it again. I feel like you just have to really season it up, drain it, rinse it with cold water, you know, kind of how you got to treat chickpea pasta in general. So I have some of the orzo, some of the cucumbers, the cherry tomatoes, red onions, and the olives. Gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil, add those fresh herbs, some salt, black pepper. Almost forgot my vegan feta. Some lemon juice. I'm just gonna add a little bit, some herbs as well. And then a teeny bit of maple syrup. Yeah, that looks great. Okay, so I do have some arugula that I'm gonna add down in here. I love arugula. I think it's just so good. And then our salad. Look at that so far. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, now these were just like tofu bites that I already had. So I'm gonna add those as well. And I just drizzled these with olive oil. What else did I put? I put olive oil, salt, black pepper, Italian herbs, garlic powder, onion powder, smoked paprika. But talk about scrum dilly yum yum. And then I have some hummus that I'm gonna add as well. I'm trying to figure out where I want to go. Maybe right here. And I wanna add some red pepper flakes and some more herbs. Look at how delicious. Looks so good. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm, mm. I feel like on a plant-based diet, people give people who follow a diet like this a lot of, what is it, flack? Because they enjoy salads. And I used to be like, we don't just eat salads. And although I don't only eat salads, I love me a good salad. Love, love, love a salad. I want to finish eating. Then I think we're gonna go, go ahead and do tennis. Ooh. For dessert, I really wanna make these. I made it before, I just never shared it. But you take dates, you take pitted dates, you put some peanut butter in it, you put peanuts in it, and then you dip them in chocolate. It's supposed to be like a take on Snickers, 
but I made it and it was so delicious. So I want to do that for dessert, but I'm probably going to make maybe about like five of them, but I swear all you need is just like one flattened out date with all the fixings. If you ever have a sweet tooth, that's going to be the one. That's the one to cure it, the sweet tooth, because it's so good. We are back, showered clean. I'm about to start on dinner, but before I do that, I really want to make that dessert because it has to go in the freezer. Well, it's just like little bites, you know. But so that's what we're about to make. I need to melt this chocolate. I'll show y'all everything that's in there. I'm actually on the phone with my best friend, so I'm not gonna be talking, say hey. <laughs> so I'm not gonna be talking. So I'll probably do a voiceover or put it on the screen, but I'm so excited for these. I've had them. This will be my second time making it and it was so good, so, so good. So let's go. So for my dessert, I just melted down some vegan chocolate. I used the brand Enjoy Life Foods and I added in a bit of olive oil, put that in the microwave to help thin it out. Right now I'm mixing together some peanut butter powder and water because I'll be using this as the peanut butter for the dessert. When I made these, I, I really enjoy making these because they're, they're sweet and so like you don't need too much and they just satisfy your sweet tooth. I just cut open the date. You have to get pitted dates. If you do get dates that have pits in it, just make sure you remove it. Add down some of that peanut butter and then coat it in the chocolate. Here you can go ahead and add some crushed peanuts. I ended up using just whole peanuts on top of this, but I should have did crushed. The last time I did it, I did crushed peanuts. Then I sprinkled on some sea salt flakes. Y'all, so good. And while editing this, I realized I didn't introduce dinner, but we're making a butternut squash soup, which I'm so excited for. I've had a butternut squash in my house for the longest, and it was time for me to finally cook it. So I just roasted that with some shallots, as well as cherry tomatoes. I have seen people add apple, but honestly, the butternut squash soup was like already sweet enough. I feel like if I added apple, it would've just, I don't know how I feel about that. Something else I've seen people do is they'll add carrots to it. I didn't have any carrots, so we made it work with what we had and it was really good. And I'm also roasting garlic with this, so I just cut the head of the garlic off, added some olive oil, salt and black pepper, and wrapped that in foil. And I baked this in the oven. I wanna say it was for about a total of 40 minutes. Y'all, I've been on the phone with my best friend for probably like over an hour, but I have the um butternut squash and everything still in the what's it called i should have put parchment paper down but i have it still in the oven it says only 25 minutes left i think what i'm gonna do because the butternut squash isn't soft enough i said 25 minutes 25 seconds the butternut squash isn't soft yet so i'm probably gonna take everything else out set it aside and then take the butternut squash out and maybe about maybe 15 minutes or so, because everything else looked like it was good. But there we go, so let's do it. So y'all, um, me and Brandon are doing this whole, I feel like there's a glare, is there a glare? Oh my gosh, there's a glare. Okay, I might have to talk to y'all like this. But me and Brandon are doing this whole like no drinking, no alcohol challenge. Well, we're doing a challenge and we can't drink alcohol. So just for the, the vibes, you know, I've been drinking. Well, I just picked this one up, but it's called Be Well. It's a de-alcoholized de wine, Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, but I've been doing that just for a little vibe, you know, and having it. And it's pretty good. Like, it just gives you, like, that little, you know, wind down type of vibe. So, while I wait for my, um, oh my gosh, why am I drawing a blank? It's, it's not real wine. So, what's going on? But while I wait for the butternut squash to roast in the oven, I'm about to sip on this. Oh, let's chat. Because I feel like by the time this goes up, I may have hit 100,000 subscribers. And 
I am so in awe of just this blessing and opportunity. I'm like, look at God, look at him. And also I'm very proud of myself for being obedient and starting this channel because I feel like I've been able to help more people help themselves. And it's fun for me to record and share my food. And I just love, 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 love getting the messages from y'all when y'all try these meals or just like when I share information or details about my faith and like my Bible study readings and just how it resonates with you. Like I just appreciate the love that I receive on this channel. I am grateful that I've been able to use the gift that God gave me to reach more people. And I think as my channel continues to grow and like I get deeper into my faith with the Lord that, you know, that maybe it helps somebody learn to care more for their temple. Um, but then also just like, I could be the only representation and definitely not a perfect representation, but I could be the only representation that somebody has had with a believer. And I really hope and pray that if that is the case that, you know, I've encouraged somebody to look more into deepening their relationship with the Lord because I know it's been working for me. It's been good for me. I'm just so grateful that I've been able to, I mean, I reach more than 100,000 people, but there are 100,000 people who have subscribed to my channel because they are interested in what I'm sharing. And I really hope that all 100,000 people have tried my recipes, <laughs> but if you have not tried them, you've shared my videos. And I'm just so grateful for the opportunity. I'm grateful that y'all are here to support me on this journey. I can't believe I got 100,000 of y'all in my little corner of the internet. And I'm just so, I just feel so blessed to be able to do this. It means the world to me. I feel like my butternut squash is in the oven, like going crazy right now. So we're about to get back to that, but I just wanted to come in and say thank you. If I didn't hit 100,000 by the time this video goes up, I'm gonna delete this, but I think I'm pretty close. I think I'm pretty close, but yeah, I just wanna say thank you. I appreciate you and let's get back to the soup. All right. the. Squash is all done. It's a black owned business. Yum, yum, yum. Something else I was gonna do. So I have some vegan cheese. Let me show y'all the brand. This is the brand. It's artichoke and herb. I haven't tried it, it's brand new, but I wanted to 
spread it on the croutons mm -hmm. and then dip that in there oh, yes. let me get a little piece of basil on that too so there we go mm. yum 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 like wow so we have leftovers i've been putting them in these little containers um, and throwing them in the freezer. All right, so I'm gonna let these cool for a little bit longer. And now it's time for our dessert. I love these so much. Oh my gosh. Woo! I could probably let it throw out, but oh my gosh. Mm. And the salt flakes, on, sea salt flakes on top. I'm gonna have two more of <laughs> these baby pieces. They're so good. But just wanted to say thank you again for watching this video, for being here. And yeah, I'm about to go finish these little bites because they're so good. Watch a movie with my boo, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.